Welcome to the Atheist Nun channel, a show aimed to inspire readers to cherish the most meaningful moments found in life by learning about secular morality. Subscribe for more content on aspects of my business and writing life, as well as topics concerning ethics, mid 19th century living, etiquette, and much more. Christians say, I asked Jesus into my heart. I was born again, or I was saved, or else we probably were not. Objectivists say, I asked the love of my life into my heart. I was born to be selfish and happy, or I was drowning in altruism, or else we probably were not. Christians don't say hello. We greet one another with a hug and a holy kiss. Objectivists don't say hello. We greet one another with a bow of the head, with respect for each other's individuality. When Christians say goodbye, we declare, have a Jesus-filled day. When objectivists say goodbye, we declare, have an ego-filled day. To a complete stranger, a good Christian won't hesitate to announce Jesus loves you and so do I. To a complete stranger, a good objectivist won't hesitate to announce your reason loves you and so do I. Whether affectionately or with pity, you may never be sure. Christians often say, bless your heart, which is always pronounced with thick Southern sweetness. Go ahead and say it again. You know you want to. Bless your heart. Whether affectionately or with pity, you may never be sure. Objectivists often say A is A, which is always pronounced with thick Southern sweetness. Go ahead and say it again. You know you want to. A is A. For grins or groans, now throw this in. God works in mysterious ways, his wonders to perform. But you know that's not in the Bible, right? For grins or groans, now throw this in. You work in mysterious ways when you are not thinking rationally. But you know, that's not an Atlas Shrugged, right? When the pastor preaches a powerful message and the choir's songs are especially pleasing to the ear, Christians exclaim at the close of the service, we had church. When the Ayn Rand Institute podcaster preaches a powerful message and our internal choir's songs are especially pleasing to the ear, objectivists exclaim at the close of the episode, we had logic. Wait just a minute. We don't say the pastor preached a powerful message. No, Christians say the pastor was Holy Ghost filled and the word of the Lord was anointed. Wait just a minute. We don't say the ARI podcaster preached a powerful message. No, objectivists say the podcaster was reason filled and the word of the self was anointed. Christians don't have good days. We get the victory, and a great day is a mountaintop experience. Can someone say amen? Objectivists don't have good days. We feel a sense of life, and a great day is a benevolent universe experience. Can someone say amen like Peacock? Christians don't have bad days either. No, we're under attack from the devil as Satan roams like a roaring lion to destroy us. Objectivists don't have bad days either. No, we are under attack from the whim worshippers as tribalists roam like a roaring lion to destroy us. Christians don't ever say, have a good day. We say, have a blessed day. Objectivists don't ever say, have a good day. We say, have a virtuous day. Christians don't have parties. We have fellowship and dinner parties are pot blessings. Objectivists don't have parties. We have Ocon, and dinner parties are pots of gold. Christians don't get depressed. We have a spirit of heaviness. Objectivists don't get depressed. We have a spirit of moral judgment. An enthusiastic Christian is on fire for God. An enthusiastic objectivist is on fire for heroes. Christians don't have discussions we share. Objectivists don't have discussions, we debate. Similarly, Christians don't gossip, we share prayer requests. Similarly, objectivists don't gossip, we share our honest opinions. Christians don't tell stories, we give a testimony or a praise report. Objectivists don't tell stories, we give a philosophical argument or praise Rand's work. When a Christian does not know how to respond to someone who is hurting, we utter, well, I'll be praying for you. After that comes, 
God is in control. Next, we say all things work together for good. Should I keep them coming? If God closes a door, he'll open a window. And another favorite, God allows everything for a purpose. When an objectivist does not know how to respond to someone who is hurting, we utter, well, I'll be thinking of you. After that, you are in control. Next, we say all things can be handled if you adapt. Should I keep them coming? If an opportunity closes its door, a new one will open. And another favorite, don't leave your life to chance. Christians don't make decisions. We are led by the Spirit. Objectivists make decisions. We are led by objective knowledge. Christians RSVP with phrases such as, I'll be there if it's God's will, or Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Objectivists RSVP with phrases such as, I'll be there if it brings value to my life, or if I'm willing and the second-handers don't rise. When a Christian makes a mistake, we say, I'm forgiven, not perfect. When an objectivist makes a mistake, we say, I'm perfect, just not omniscient, sorry. Christians know a really terrible lie is belched from the pit of hell. Objectivists know that a really terrible lie is belched from the pit of delusion. Christians don't insult or say rude things to a brother or sister in the Lord. No, we speak the truth in love. However, if someone should mistakenly feel judged or rebuked, we say, hey, I'm just keeping it real. Objectivists don't insult or say rude things to a brother or sister in the community. No, we speak the truth in love and the good. However, if someone should mistakenly feel judged or rebuked, we say, hey, I'm just keeping it rational. If a Christian meets someone who is stressed or anxious, we know they simply need to let go and let God. If an objectivist meets someone who is stressed or anxious, we know they simply need to make a plan and execute. Last but not least, Christians don't die. We go home to be with the Lord. Last but not least, objectivists don't die. It's the world that will end. But also, don't die. Thank you, Brian Johnson. Thanks for joining me this month on the Atheist Nun channel. If you found value in this show, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and consider supporting me on AmericanWordsmith.com, where you can buy my novels, The Paper Pusher, The Dormant Age, A Man of Silence, and A Man of Action. Be sure to tune in next month for a new episode. Take care.